Okay, so this is my second time recording this video, so I hope this works, and I hope you understand if I'm tired from it, because um, I just did it, and it was corrupt. Isn't that amazing? I love technology. So, um, we're going to be doing core today. So, um, we're going to have a pillow, we're going to have weights, you're going to have something to put between your knees. It could be a pillow. It could be a ball. Um, it might be handy to have a couch handy. You'll see why. Um, either lean against or to have your legs against. And we also have um, a bigger ball, which could be bigger pillows or whatever. Um, I'm really hoping that you guys can see me okay. Um, because I really don't want to have to do this again. So, um, I have my slippers on because my original one that I did was when it was beautiful and sunny in here, and this time it's kind of chilly, so because it's nighttime. So um, we're gonna go ahead and come laying down. And so it would be preferable if you did one of the um, previous videos just to warm up the core a little bit, one of the roller ones or uh, the Pilates one where we did the hip lifts and then the planking, that would be, um, definitely preferable um something just to get you moving and warming you up even the yoga intro one would be great so just something to get you moving again so what we're going to do we're going to bring the legs into tabletop you're recruiting your core good flexing your feet i do have my slippers on i'm cold <laughs> love me and we're going to reach up one and bend and two and bend three, four, keep the legs exactly where they are, five, and six, seven, let the belly draw in, eight, good, nine, and ten, other side, one, good, two, three, four, five, and six, good, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. And both together. One, and bend, and two, and bend, and three, and four. Good. Keep the knees where they are. Five. Good. Make sure they're not reaching away. Six. We're overhead. Seven. Good. Eight, nine, Good, and 10, and keep them up. Ready? Now you're gonna point one, and flex, and two, and flex. I'm doing both. Three, four, five. You're gonna feel the entire leg chain. Six, good, seven, eight, nine, good, and 10, and leave it flex. Take the head, come up, okay? Or put a bunch of pillows or a ball under the head or something. Okay, recruiting from the core. Let's go. One, two, big exhales. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, stay up as high as you can. Ball under the head if you name two. Right leg. One, reach up and left. Reach up and right. Push it away. Up and left, reach up. You can hold on to the other one gently if you need to. And left, reach up, good. Right, reach up, and left, reach up. Keep going. I'm gonna see if I can get into the picture a little bit more. Up, and left, reach up, and right, reach up, good. Up, good, left, and right. Good, and left, good, and reciprocal. Right, reach, left. Reach, 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 reach. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and bring it up. Good, take a break. Good, so from here, I'm gonna find a new angle because this isn't working very well. From here, um, stay on your back. And what we're going to do is we're going to do something that requires some coordination, okay? Now, at any time, 
You can actually use weights in the hands if you want. Now the whole first video, I used the weights. And yeah, I did weights and glutes this morning. So with these videos are keeping me in shape. So you guys should try to do at least five a day. <laughs> and you'll see. <laughs> so uh, anyways, let's get up. Arms up. Okay, now I don't have a lot of space in here. I got a couch and I got like, there's not a lot of space. Okay, so we're gonna go right arm, left leg, and you're gonna go reach, take the arm overhead as far as you can. Okay, so you do want enough space. Okay, and up and left and up. Good, I'm gonna see if I can turn. This really sucks. Okay, and reach and up and reach and up and reach and up. I'm trying to record from my tablet. I gotta tell you, I'm really hating tablets. You can have something under your head while you do this and up, keep going. Reach and up, reach and up, reach and up, reach and up. And as you do it, think about the arms, okay? Now keep the legs up, let's do the right. One and up, keep the belly down, two and up three, and up, four, this sucks because I'm not going as far as I should be, five, and left side, one, and up, two, and up, three, that's Lexi you here, four, and up, five, and up, ready, add the legs, one, up, stay with the same side, two, and up, three, up, keep the chin tucked, four, and up, five, and switch sides, one, and up, two, and up, three, and up, four, and up, good, five, and up, good. Now stay there, just seeing if I can get a better angle, guys, I'm sorry, this is really starting to tick me off. I had it so good today. I was so upset when it didn't work, so let me just find a good angle and then I'll stop complaining about it. Just not very impressed. So, um, oh, for those of you who carry a little bit more weight in the legs or if you have low back issues, the reason the couch is a great idea, you can actually do this using the couch so that you don't go down so far. So when you go down, it actually helps you to, you can actually push down a little bit in the leg and you can recruit the core as you go down and then pull it back up and then switch and pull it back up. So use that as sort of a really cool prop that you don't have when we're um, in different spaces like at the studio and stuff, right? Okay, so stay up, ready? So now what you're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to come overhead like we were and you're gonna come up and you're just gonna try to do a little lift and it comes right from the belly okay so you're gonna go overhead yeah and up and reach and overhead and up and two and overhead and up and three still use the couch if you need to and four overhead and up and five overhead and up six and up for seven overhead and up for eight and overhead up for nine overhead and up for ten good now let's go the other side okay good and you're gonna go overhead one overhead two overhead notice I'm barely hanging on to the weight Good, breathing nice and deep. Good, reach and up. Good, reach and up. Make sure the head is down before the hand goes overhead. Good, and up, reach and up. Good, two and up. Good, one more, one and up. Good, and bring it down. Good, so now I'm gonna have you lay in an X, okay? I can tell already this isn't going to work on the camera. I had this, um, yeah, I'm not going to bitch about technology again. Anyways, 
I did have it working really well earlier um, and you can see it. So the idea is you lay in an X and I don't know what you can see but my arms on a couch and I'm very uncomfortable. I'm, I'm actually kind of, I don't think you guys ever see me pissy very often but I'm actually kind of pissy about this video that got to, that went corrupt on me so because it's a good video. Okay so I'm laying in an X Okay, so it's sort of like a starfish. Same idea, but now we're coming from down to up. Now, also, you can do this with the feet up, which I think I might actually do on the couch because you'll get a better view, okay? So, feet are up, arms are up, okay? I don't even know if you can see me at this point. I doubt it. So, what you're doing, so let's just work with the arms because it's a really good angle for your arms, okay? So you're going to go ahead and come up and slowly go back down and up and slowly go back down. So you're going at that 45 degree, reaching for the opposite leg and then opening back up, reaching up. And again, I have two pound weights. Find your chickpeas or your baked beans. Okay. And back. Good, one more time. Up, the head is optional. And back, good, other side. And up, and back, nice and slow. So really try to receive the weight. Notice that I'm not, I'm barely hanging on. So let that resistance, good. And up, and back, good, one more time. Up, and back, good. Ready? Now you're going to come up on the angle and slowly go back down. Now remember, um, if you can, you want your legs to come all the way down to the ground. Okay? And then we're going to switch. So we're going to go opposites and slowly come back. And slowly come up. And slowly come back. Now if this is hard on your head or hard on your neck, have a big pillow under your head. And just keep your head at the same height the whole time. Okay? I'm not going to show you because you guys know what I'm talking about. Good. Up and open and up and open. Good. Up and open. Good. And ready? Up. And we're going to see if we can come up any higher and stay up. One and in. Two and in. It's almost like you're looking past your armpit. Four and in. Five and in, six and seven, good. Eight, nice deep breaths. Nine and and ten and thank you, Lexi, for being quiet. And one and open, two and open, three, good. Four, if your head hurts, put a ball underneath it. Five, still use your core though. Six, keep the ribs down. Seven, good. Eight, feel the cross chain working. Nine, good. And ten, and come back. Good. Feet together, good. And you can bend the knees. Good. Take the arms up to the ceiling. Good. And I want you to take them back and press up one. Back, I was just checking to see if you guys could see. Three and press, just doing some triceps, press, five. You know that this part actually doesn't do anything. So when you press, right, don't stop there because you really haven't used your triceps. Triceps happen right there. That's a fully contracted tricep. Bend and extend, okay? Bend, extend, bend. You might actually get your elbows to crack. Bend, extend three, and reach, two, reach, one, reach, good, and take it out for a stretch, good. So from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to come up and we're going to do some, um, some sitting. Now, with the sitting, we have the various balls that you can put behind the spine. You can try a pillow. So the great thing about the couch is is you can actually use the couch. So you can actually take the couch and sit back, okay? 
Um, what we're going to do is we're going to practice um, something from my boxing days. Okay. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Okay. So you can also do this without anything behind the back. So you sit back and you curl back. Now, that being said, if you're doing this, you probably want a ball between the knees or something, a pillow, right? A pillow between the knees, something to squish. Or you can also tuck the feet underneath your couch. My couches are too low. They don't fit, my feet don't fit underneath them. So, but you can squeeze the ball, okay? So what we're gonna do, you're gonna curl wherever you can. It's not really as much of a curl as what we normally put on it. It's sort of a flatter back. So this one for those of you who have, um, if you feel like you're in your low back a lot, um, support it, go against a couch, right? So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take the, um, the thumbs to the shoulders, okay? Elbows are up. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna twist, 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 twist. Now, when I go to the camera, it looks like I'm opening up my elbows. Keep twisting, I wanna show you. I'm actually, in fact, parallel. Well, without feeling like I'm squished in, okay? So I am a little bit wider than my shoulders, but when I twist, I'm actually not taking one elbow out or in or any further. So they're locked in place with the shoulders, okay? Ready? So we're gonna go and switch and twist and twist. And think about just relaxing the hip bones, okay? You can do whatever you can to release the legs, okay? Reach, reach. You notice that I'm gonna move mine around as we get going to, to find a comfortable position. And switch, 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 okay? Now we're gonna add the boxing element in. So for floor we do that, we need to lift your pelvic floor and really draw the belly in. Okay, it's really easy to let go of the belly, okay? So if you can't keep the belly in, then just keep doing this for now, okay? Ready? It's a fast movement. Don't be right beside somebody. You're gonna reach, 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 reach. Good, reach, 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 reach. Good, good. Nice deep breathing. Reach, 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 reach. Nice deep breaths, keep going. Extend, 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 extend. Good, you should start to feel warm. Reach reach. Give yourself time to really reach it. Push, push, push. Your core has to catch the extra weight. Okay. So try to find something that has a little bit more weight if you can. Okay. You are going to feel your obliques. You're going to feel everything working. Okay. It says that you want to feel it more through the sides. We're working the core. Okay. Reach, reach. Ready? We're going to go to doubles. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Good. Reach, 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 reach. Reach, 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 good, reach, reach, and reach, and reach, good, and reach, and really turn the body, turn the body, turn the body. Take your time to turn, and turn, and turn, and turn, good, and reach, and reach, and reach. Maybe you can lift your legs, and reach, or maybe one, and reach, and reach, good, and reach, and reach, good. If you're really good, you can reach and reach and reach, reach and extend and extend and extend and extend. Good. And reach and reach and reach and reach. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. And bring it in. Whew. That's a good one, isn't it? Okay. So from here, let's just come up. Come sit for a moment. Good. Have whatever you're using for weights. Good. That ball's flying all around my sunroom. So come in. Good. And open. And in. And open. Good. And in. And in. And open. Good. If you're up in your neck and shoulders, then lower the arms. But try to get the elbows as high as you can. Okay. Ready? Good. Two. Good, and one. And we're gonna come in, out, open, circle, forward. In, out, open, circle, forward. Good, bend in, out, 
open, circle forward, good, bend, open, good, forward, in, open, good, and circle, bend, open, extend, and in, good, two more, open, and in, and one, and open, extend, and reverse, and open, and in, and forward, and extend, Good. In, forward, and extend. This is my second time doing these today. And open. Good. In, good. Open. Three. In, and open, and two. Good. In, and open, and one. Good. And in, and open, and legs take it down. Good. How are you guys feeling okay? Good. So I'm so scared that this video is going to be crept and I'm praying it's not. So what we're going to do is called eagle sit-ups. So we're going to take the arms out. The arms are pretty tired. Hopefully your core is a little bit tired. Um, eagle sit-ups are known as eagle sit-ups. So I'm hoping that you guys get a clear view of this. I'm going to try trimming a little bit maybe to see where the lighting is going in here so you're gonna come down now you're gonna take one leg and cross it over the other okay and if you can't do that it's okay just wait okay so take one leg and cross it and then you're gonna go ahead and bring the legs up now if you can you want to wrap it around again but I lose it's, it's too stretchy for me. I lose the ability to actually contract my thighs if I over um, bend and take my legs there. So I want to stay in control. So I'm just going to squeeze like this. Okay. Now, if you can't do that, you're going to cross and squeeze your knees. Okay. If you need, you can take a ball between the knees or a pillow between the knees to help you. We want to activate inner thigh and you want to feel that the ankles, knees, and inner thighs are all activated with the core. Okay. So everything's being utilized. Now you're gonna take the hands, you're gonna interlace them behind the head and pull the elbows in and you come up, okay? I'm not sure if I can get through a whole nother set of these, so just pay attention and listen, okay? Because this, these are tough, okay? So I used to do 300 of these a day when I was boxing. So first the legs stay stationary, okay? This is your starting position. You're gonna exhale up for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ready? Now the legs. One, and pull in. So you're softening the belly. Two, three, four. Again, if you need something under your head, please do five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten now both one don't go too far back and in two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and come out take the legs down and we're going to do it again cross them the other way Okay, ready? So let's go ahead, come up, bring the arms up, good. Top of the body is working, ready? Let's go one, and two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the legs, one, and in, two, and in, three, and in four five six seven you keep going eight nine and ten good now together one good good three four six seven eight nine and 10 and stretch it out.
Good. You can do those a whole bunch of times if you want. So from here, just reach the arms and the legs back up. Go back to the original one. So you can have something another head under the head if you want. So we're going to go opposites. <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting it going. So inhale and exhale. Good. Then switch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again, use the couch if you want. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. Keep the back down. Inhale. You can have something slight under the bum. Just remember that your uh, legs won't go as low. Okay. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Keep going. Good. And in. Good. Keep this down. Belly down. In. Belly down. And in. Back down. Up. Up. Good. Five. And up. Four. And up. Three. Two. And up. Good. One. And up. And take a stretch. Breathe and just allow yourself to relax. Big inhale. Good. Draw the belly in while it's lengthened. Good. Just let it draw in. Oh, get some space. It's hard to do those at the end of the day, I think. I don't know if it's just me, but I just ate dinner. Did much better this afternoon. Okay, guys. Take a breath. Take a break. I hope that your cores are sore. Hopefully you swore a little bit during that one. I'll be back with another one soon. Have a great day.